Hey everybody, I'm Lexi and welcome to my first top five rant video, I believe. And it is about a fandom I am a part of. So it's the My Little Pony fandom. Now, of course, with every fandom there is out there, there are things you like and there are things you absolutely detest. And let's face it, the My Little Pony fandom is fucking full of them. And here is my list of five things I hate about the My Little Pony fandom or the Brony fandom, Pegasus fandom, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Literally about 90 fucking percent of the fandom is overly obsessed. Well, but compared to the rest of the fandom, I'm actually not even that much of a fucking fan. Considering I don't own that much merchandise compared to half of them out there. And a lot of them even change the way they speak to say every pony, every fucking pony. What? We're not ponies, we're fucking people, you idiotic piece of shit. Now, ugh. And when you're trying to like express joy by going, yeah, you always have that one fucking asshole who goes, yay. And you just, ah. Number two, the fucking pawn. Now I know what non-bronies are thinking right now, but you're a brony. You must love the clop that they come out with. No, I fucking hate it. I absolutely hate it. It's like, dude, it's a tiny fucking horse. <laughs> they just put any old ponies together. Ugh. Guys, the pawn is fucked. Just please stop. And number three, OC shaming. It's called a fucking original character and I see so many people ripping into other people's OCs and of course their OCs are original to them. Now yeah, but they might be bad in your fucking view but to that person that is their character. Whether it's a fucking alicorn, a fucking unicorn, pegasi, whether it's red on black and whatever and it doesn't seem so original to you or it seems fucking edgy, let them fucking be. It's an original fucking character. They have put effort into making that character the way it is. Now, you have to stop being so fucking judgmental about what other people want and focus on your own fucking OC. Ugh. <laughs> The only thing that fucking really matters to actually validate having an alicorn OC is actually a decent fucking backstory of why it's an alicorn. Or a decent fucking backstory to any pony. I just fucking said it. Okay, now this one really does piss me off. And I ain't even gonna joke about it. It's accounts that are named after specific, more specifically, Facebook accounts that are named after sp specific characters so they can roleplay as the character. Rather than just setting up a little roleplay on their own account, you know, where they can admit that they're proud of being a brony. No, they have to make an account in a fucking main character's name or do a blatant recolor of a normal character and call it Fluttershy Rainbow Douche. What? <laughs> okay, I know I just said I don't like OC shaming, but a recolor, in my opinion, is not an OC. I just think that it's lazy. Like I said, OC, you put the effort in to making that. Or you can even ask an artist to fucking do it for you. And if no artist is willing to do it for free, there's fucking plenty of pony creative things on the internet. Getting off topic, um, the accounts are just... Uh, the accounts just really make me cringe. Especially certain ones. And finally we're here at number 
fucking five. Bad shipping. You can't put Luna and Celestia together as a fucking ship. They are sisters. It doesn't fucking work. You can't put Twilight and Cadence as a ship. They see each other as fucking sisters. It does not work. This fucking fandom has shown me that friendship isn't fucking magic. Because it just seems to be more intimate everywhere you turn than actual friendship. And flashlight. Okay. Outside of the Equestria Girls movies, she has shown zero interest in the fucking prick. Plus, he made her cry in the second movie, which made me absolutely despise the guy. It's a dead ship. If you didn't like the video, go away. And... Bye! <laughs>